Hello, my name is Lamar Skipper, and today you'll be watching part one of a video of me speaking to my daughter's public speaking class about speaking with confidence. So please like and comment this video. And for more videos about personal development, sales training, and real estate investing, please subscribe. Enjoy, and thank you for your time. Well, first off, I just want to start off by giving all of you a compliment. I'm very impressed with you. And the reason is, I spoke with Lamaria uh, a few days ago, and she was telling me that each and every one of you actually has already been up here, right? Giving a presentation, talking to the class. And what impresses me is, I'm not sure if all of you know this or not, but the fear of public speaking is actually the number one fear most people have in America. So, all of you, because you've already gotten up here and you've already spoken to the class, you all have already conquered that fear. So I want to give you all a hand. I'll clap for yourself real quick. Today, I just wanted to speak about speaking with confidence and talk to you all a little bit about that because I truly believe it's an area that will help you no matter what you decide to do. I want us to have a discussion really quick about the importance of speaking with confidence. So I wanna ask you all a question. What are some of the benefits that you can get from being able to speak with confidence? Uh, respect. Respect, what's your name by the way? Justin. Justin. Justin? Yeah. Justin, respect, okay, absolutely. Respect yourself from others. They'll, they'll respect you more, right, if, if you're speaking confidently. Anybody else? Your audience will be more interested in what you're talking about. Audience more interested. That's, that's two real good ones. Respect being interested. They'll pay more attention. Absolutely. Anyone else? Okay. About speaking with confidence. Let's start the discussion with the definition of confidence. I'm in this club. Confidence is a feeling of self-assurance arising from one's appreciation of one's own abilities or qualities. So let's think about that. It means the first key to being self-confident or having confidence in your communication is you believing in yourself. That's the first key. Now I'm gonna ask y'all another question. Your, so your self-image is the key to your self-confidence, right? How you see yourself, what you believe about yourself. And the thing is, what you believe about yourself, other people will automatically tend to believe about you. Think about that for a minute. What you believe about yourself, people will automatically attend, you know, tend to believe about. Now, it's not 100%, but I would think it's at least 70, 80, 90% how you carry yourself. So here's my question. First question, based on the first key. What was the first key, by the way? Self-image. Believe in yourself. First key, you're right. Man, I'm give y'all questions. Let me stop. Okay. So, what are some of the positive things that you can believe about yourself that will help you to have more self-confidence in your communication? Can uh, enjoy your appearance, like make sure you're presenting yourself well. I like that. It's a good one. Uh, I'll say like take control of the conversation. Okay. Well, remember what we're talking about is the things you believe about yourself. Oh, so be like the boss, like you the boss. Okay. That would be attitude. Yeah. I like that. You gotta have like self love for yourself. Mm, that's a really good one right there. A high self esteem. High self esteem. You gotta believe that you can do it. You gotta believe that you can do it. Absolutely. Absolutely. There's a saying that goes with that. Whether you think you can or you think you can't, either way, mm -hmm. who can finish that for me? You are right. Oh, see? I'm sorry. <laughs> Looking for the money. No. <laughs> <laughs> but absolutely. So it's like it, you 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 win or fail before you even start. Is really what that's saying. Because whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right either way. Either way it goes. All right. So the second key to being able to communicate confidently is to be prepared. Right? Be prepared. Let's let's think about that for a minute. If you have a test, if you're in class and you know you have a test coming up and you take some time to study, you take some time to learn the material, you've done your work in class, when you go to take that test, you're going to feel what? 
Confident. You're gonna feel more confident. You're gonna you're gonna be assured of, of the outcome because you know the what? You know the material. You got a few basketball players in here. They leave. You might play basketball. Here. Oh yep, I seen you play actually pretty good by the way. Freshman or no, not freshman. JV? Okay. Alright, that's what's up. So um, let's talk about basketball just, just for a moment while you know the season's about to get started. If I know I've put the work in, right? I went to the practices. You know, but I'm not just going to practice. I'm working on my game outside of practice. I'm shooting a lot of shots, I'm dribbling, I'm doing drills. When the lights show and it's time to to execute in a game, I'm gonna be what? Confident. I'm gonna be more confident. So when you know you've actually invested the time and energy and the effort, okay, into your speech or your presentation, you're gonna feel assured that you're going to do a good job, that you're going to do well. Okay, the third key to communicating with confidence, speaking with confidence, whatever we want to call it, is control the controllables. Control the controllables. What do I mean by that? What I actually mean by that is your posture, your body language, all of that is going to give you confidence. Remember, it's from the inside out. So if I, like, say if I walked up here to speak to you all, and I'm like this, and I'm not really looking, I'm not looking at anybody, I'm just looking at my nose trying to get through it. I'm probably not gonna feel good, right? I'm probably gonna get real nervous, probably gonna start stuttering, and, and it's just not gonna go well. But if my body language, if my posture, if I'm giving everyone eye contact, if I'm talking to you all, and because I know the material, I know what I'm talking about, right? What's that gonna do? It's gonna help me feel what? And if I believe that about myself, what that's going to do? Make us believe. Perfect. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed part one, part two of this video can be found on my channel. So again, please comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you for your time.